Hello and welcome to another video for Linux.net. Recently I showed you how to put Linux on an Android device, like this one. Today I'm going to sh show you something kind of similar, but the other way around. So this is my Pine phone, and I'm going to put Android on it. For that, you just go to the resources page here, go down to distributions, and well, yeah. Let's search Android. There it is. And here's Glowdroid. And then we see that there's been a Glowdroid release 12 days ago before. Uh, previous releases had have been happening in September and then there had been nothing since. So it felt like the project might have been abandoned, but it's not. And I'm going to show you how to install it in this video. Now, I'm not going to install it to EMMC, but I'm going to put it onto the SD card. Now, if we check here, the main page of the repo, we will see some installation instructions that we will now later follow. But first, let's uh, go back here and download the right file and that's this one it's gd-v release number pinephone-userdebug.tar.gz i cheated a little bit that's why i already have it here downloaded in my folder so let me ins extract it okay now we have to cd to the artifacts folder and we have to extract again. I will just put the micro SD card into the card reader and connect that to my computer in the meantime. So it's extracted. And here we go. This is the page main page of that Glowdroid manifest repo and it has the instructions. We will now use deploy-sd image and we will write it to an SD card because that's what we have to do now. And for that I will use GNOME disks. So here we are, uh, my SD card is in the reader and this is GNOME disks. Now I will now, this is a fresh unused SD card, it doesn't have to be that big. So let me restore the disk image. This is what we have to go with and then choose deploy-sd image. It's a lot smaller than the target device because this is just basically a kind of recovery for Android, if you will. Okay. Yes, we want to do that. And now I have to enter my password. And it's writing that to this disk. Now, prerequisites for all this are that you have a Pine phone, of course, and you need to have those Android dash tools installed because you're going to need ADB or even fastboot. Well, at least one of them. And now we will boot the Pine from, from it. Pressing the power button and I'm connecting the phone to my computer because that's what's going to be needed for the next step, basically. Prop the phone up with the Librem 5. The LED is red. And yeah, let's see whether something happened here. Uh, well, so let's go back to our terminal. And we see that there is an Android device attached. So it did boot actually. There's just no indication of that on the screen. And now let's follow this further. And we just need to run. Right flash dash sd i mean if we would have gone uh, with an emmc install we would have used have to use this deploy image 
and then flash dash emmc but i mean why would you do that so now it's rebooting to fast boot and now fast boot the recovery is flashing the actual rom if you will and now you can see that we've got something of a android fast boot thing that looks like your like a proper fast boot screen that you might know from some android device usually they're more themed this is pretty basic but it looks familiar doesn't it now images got flashed but all we had to do basically was writing that deploy image to the sd card putting it into the fine phone and executing a script simple right now of course like many things on the pine phone glowdroid isn't really perfect so it can't do everything it doesn't make your pine phone a normal android phone right so there's no phone functionality or something like that but it's running a fairly recent kernel, so that's 5.12.4 with some patches from Megi, and it ships with a shade launcher, which is a very simple Android launcher, which works quite well. And the Phoenix browser pre-installed, so that you've got a proper browser pre-installed. And this is just basic AOSP, so you won't have uh, any Google app or something like that. There are known issues. For example, on Pinephone ADB, remount won't work. And yeah, but deep sleep works, so that's pretty cool, I think. There had been progress a while back on the PinePhone forums regarding getting the modem to work to use the PinePhone as an Android phone, but I'm not sure how far that went actually. Okay, now it's rebooting. I think we're finished, and the phone should be booting Android now. And now we're booted. I will use this shade launcher because I found it to work better. And then we've got Android here. So let's go to the settings app and see how new this release is. So it says about phone, pine phone. And then, yeah. Android 11. So this is quite experimental, but I think you may use it for some Android things. Mainly, I think right now it's for experimentation. So uh, you could play uh, with some Android apps. Maybe if maybe if you can't refresh your Pine time on the Pine phone with the Linux apps that are available, and you want to need to use an android app and you don't have an android phone handy you can try glowroid for that and you can experiment with it and contribute and make it better of course but that's it thanks for watching android or glowroid on the pine phone quite something huh see you soon bye bye